the scorching sun bore down on the dry, cracked earth of Western Australia. On the surface, nothing seemed unusual, just another patch of barren land in the outback. But deep beneath the soil, a silent collaboration was unfolding, one that would baffle scientists, excite geologists, and trigger whispers of modern-day alchemy. It began not with machines or mining drills, but with the tiniest creatures imaginable, ants. For years, miners had combed vast expanses in search of gold, relying on satellite imaging, geological surveys, and expensive exploration campaigns. But in 2013, a breakthrough came from an unexpected source. Researchers from the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization, or CIRO, were studying the behavior of insects when they noticed something peculiar. Certain ant colonies were consistently built above gold deposits. This was no coincidence. It turned out these industrious insects weren't just builders and scavengers, they were accidental geologists. The ants had dug tunnels meters below the surface, unknowingly bringing up microscopic particles of gold embedded in the soil. By examining the debris around and inside their nests, scientists detected elevated levels of gold. In essence, the ants were performing tiny, natural drilling operations, sampling the earth without even realizing it. But ants weren't alone in this accidental treasure hunt. Termites, too, began making headlines. These wood-devouring insects were found to host traces of gold in their mounds, especially in arid regions where water was scarce and vegetation sparse. Unlike traditional mining which could take months of labor and millions of dollars to yield results, sampling termite mounds offered a cheap, eco-friendly method of gold exploration. Scientists began to wonder if ants and termites could act as bioindicators of hidden gold. Could they also be used as agents to extract it? That's when the story took a turn from observation to innovation. Enter the field of biomining. Traditionally used by bacteria and fungi, biomining involves using living organisms to extract valuable metals from ores or waste. It's cleaner than chemical leaching, less invasive than open pit mining, and surprisingly efficient. But insects, those complex, mobile creatures, were an unexplored frontier in this domain. In recent years, entomologists and environmental engineers began investigating whether insects could not only signal the presence of metals like gold, but also actively help mobilize or concentrate them. Some experiments with larvae of mealworms, black soldier FLIs, and other decomposers showed a startling potential. These insects, when fed metal-rich waste, were found to bioaccumulate tiny amounts of precious metals. Their digestive systems, armed with symbiotic microbes, could alter the chemical state of gold complexes, converting them into elemental forms. Over time, minute quantities of gold would accumulate in their tissues or excreta. On its own, the yield was negligible. But imagine processing thousands, if not millions, of insects reared on industrial waste, e-waste, or low-grade ore. Suddenly, the idea of insect-based biorecovery didn't seem so far-fetched. But how does this even work on a chemical level? Gold in its natural form is notoriously inert. It doesn't easily form stable compounds in the environment. However, in low concentrations and under certain conditions like in soils laced with chlorides, sulfates, or organic acids, gold can exist in a soluble form. Microorganisms, including those inside insects, can oxidize or reduce these compounds. In the gut of a fly larva, for instance, microbes like Pseudomonas or Bacillus species may interact with gold complexes, triggering reactions that precipitate gold nanoparticles. These nanoparticles, once formed, may bind to proteins, fats, or other organic molecules, and slowly accumulate in the body. This opens up a whole new branch of science entomometallurgy, the study of how insects interact with metals at a biological level. In 2022, a group of researchers in Germany conducted a daring experiment. 
They exposed common houseflies to environments laced with gold chloride, a compound toxic to many forms of life. Not only did the FLIs survive, but they also began to accumulate tiny gold particles. Over several weeks, the researchers extracted nanogram-level amounts of gold from the FLIs using simple chemical processing. It wasn't enough to fund a mining operation, but it proved the principle. Elsewhere, scientists in South Africa explored the role of beetles that feed on metal-rich decaying plant matter. These beetles, feeding in gold-rich environments, were discovered to process and excrete trace levels of gold in a more chemically concentrated form. Their frass, yes, insect poop held higher concentrations of gold than the surrounding soil. Still, these were slow, small-scale phenomena. So the question remained, could insects scale gold recovery in a meaningful way? This is where biotechnology steps in. Imagine genetically engineering insects, or more feasibly, their gut microbes to enhance metal bioaccumulation. What if we could create a strain of mealworms that processed the waste and selectively trapped gold, copper, or even rare earth metals inside their bodies? What if we could harness termite colonies as living probes and processors, mapping out metal distributions beneath our feet, and simultaneously concentrating them over time. It's not as far-fetched as it sounds. Synthetic biology has already given us yeast that produce pharmaceutical drugs, bacteria that glow in the dark, and algae that manufacture biofuels. In parallel, some labs are developing insect farms not just for food or fertilizer, but for waste recovery. Black soldier fly larvae, famous for processing organic waste, are being trialed as bio-refiners. Feed them the right mixture of industrial byproducts, tweak their microbial gut flora, and they might just offer a sustainable route to gold reclamation. But why does all this matter? Because traditional gold mining is one of the most destructive industries on Earth. It consumes massive energy, pollutes water sources with cyanide and mercury, and scars ecosystems beyond repair. Biomining, and insect-based strategies in particular, offer an elegant alternative, small-scale, decentralized, eco-friendly recovery systems that work with nature, not against it. There are still hurdles to overcome ethical, technical, and logistical. But the idea that insects could help us extract gold isn't fantasy. It's already happening quietly, on the frontiers of science. So next time you see an anthill or a termite mound, remember they might just be standing on treasure. And not because they hoard it, but because nature, in its strange and intricate wisdom, has made them accidental miners. Insects are not just pests, pollinators, or parts of the food chain. They're biogeochemical agents. Alchemists. Living tools in our quest to make technology greener, smarter, and more sustainable. And maybe, just maybe, the path to gold is smaller, stranger, and more alive than we ever imagined.